Thank you, Anne. Guys, I forgot to charge my camera, but I'm packing and I want to kind of show you what I'm bringing. I have my whole Louis Vuitton travel toiletries right here kind of laid out. I have them broken up with kind of like daily things. So this usually goes inside of my tote bag, whichever one I'm carrying is my handbag just on the day to day or my handbag when I'm traveling. This is where I have all of my makeup and this is my most recent purchase, the Trousse 23. I think I got this February. And then I have the toiletry bag 26, which has all of my minis for everything like body, not really hair because my hair is already done, but if you can see like Q-tips, deodorant, tampons, face wash, body lotion, just all in minis and they're all travel safe because I've used this a million times since I got it. And then I have my little pocket agenda, which I love using to travel because it has my cards on this side, I'm trying to hide it. And then you can also fit your passport here too. And then also your boarding pass can lay flat and you can kind of close it like this and have it in your hand. And I really like that. I've done it a few times with traveling and I really like having my boarding pass in here. And when I went to Tulum, I used it with my passport as well. So I really like having my passport tucked in. And then here is just where I have my keys and everything. So I just have this, but there's no cards in here. I moved them all into here just so that I can have this tucked away into my purse. But these are the Louis Vuitton travel toiletries that I travel with. So whether I'm flying or just going on like a weekend driving trip. But yeah, I haven't decided what tote bag I'm going to put them in. Not all of them. Some of them are going to go inside my suitcase. I just need to grab my suitcase and grab the travel tote that I want to bring, which I think will be my Tory Burch knit tote. I haven't decided. So let's check on the sprouts for the morning. So I don't know what's been going on, but it looks like my cherry tomatoes are turning yellow, if you can see. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're being overly watered, which I don't believe, but I could be wrong again. Or, you know, not an, like not enough water. Or these little, I don't know what these buggies are. I don't know if you can see them, but I spray them down and it's like, I don't know what they are. They're like little gnat things that crawl mostly. I don't know how you describe them, but the green beans look like they're doing really well, especially that second one. The second one looks so, so good. First one still looks good too, but that second one that came after is so big. And then green onions are just here doing their thing. But yeah, so the cherry tomatoes, I don't know. I'm a little worried because they were looking really good up until honestly the last few days but there's a lot of bugs out right now like these little gnat looking things and I think that's what's been trying to like get inside of my place because I keep seeing little like buggies and I think they're from outside but let me give them another spray because I just they're like all over I just don't get it maybe this isn't the best spray for them maybe I need something a little bit better but yeah I just gave them another Gray. I really don't know. The bugs just, they're insane. I guess they're just resistant to that spray. So I'm going to look and try to see if I can identify what kind of buggies they are and get something that is good for the plants, but maybe gets rid of them. But let me show you the sprouts. The lemon sprout I posted on my Instagram story. Guys, the lemon seeds, remember this one and then this? I got the first sprout from the lemon seeds, which is crazy because I got the lemon seeds from a lemon that I had. I wasn't really expecting it to grow, but here we are. I have a sprout. I'm so excited. I know it takes like a few years for a lemon tree to actually develop, grow, and actually produce fruit, but listen, we gotta start somewhere. So I have my first lemon sprout, and then hopefully one sprout here. I think I planted two seeds in each, I'm not sure, but here in this row I have Roma tomatoes and they've all sprouted. There's like at least two in each one, I believe. Yeah, you can see there's a third one sprouting in that little pocket, but yeah. And then you can see there's two here, but this one's starting to sprout like a third leaf. And then over here in the middle, I have red cabbage and all of them have sprouted for the most part. And then over here, broccoli, some of the little tags are getting washed away, but I still remember. So I have broccoli here and all of them have sprouted as well. They look really good. And then over here we have some new ones. So on the left side, I have the radish that sprouted, I think I showed you guys. But look, we have a lettuce sprout coming in, or coming through. And then here, what are you? Carrots here? Yes, carrots down the middle. So we have nothing in this tray, but I see one sprouting here for the carrot, one here for the carrot, you can see that tiny one. And then two right here for the carrot. 
And then here, I'm very excited. I planted a two zucchinis, which I don't see any movement just yet. But look at the cucumber. Isn't that crazy? They just like sprouted overnight. Well, not really, but like, like three or four days, but they've sprouted and they look really nice too. I'm a little worried about leaving them, but I think they'll be okay. Of course, I'm going to use the self-watering mechanism for these three. And then I'll probably just leave the potato. I'll just probably do like a little water and just leave it alone. But these I'll probably fill up the bottom, like kind of right here so that they can soak up the water as needed. But yeah, I'm so happy. Aside from the little buggies, I'm happy. So for packing, I decided to go with my Neverfull. I was gonna use my Tory Burch Knit Tote, but I didn't really need that much space, honestly. I think everything fit. I'm still debating bringing my iPad, but it's packed here just because I'm gonna end up bringing my laptop. I have my laptop case just laying on top of my clothes. I have my laptop and charger out just kind of charging. And then over here, I have my toiletry bags, just two of them. I have the 26, the Trousse 23, undergarments, a pair of sandals that I won't be wearing on the flight, but I just wanna have just in case. And then I have like two big t-shirts and some shorts just to sleep in or lounge in. And then here I have my makeup brushes because I just wanted to bring a few more that didn't fit in here. So I have that. And then for shoes, I think I'm gonna actually just wear my Sam Edelman little I forgot what the actual style of these shoes are, but to the airport because I'm just gonna wear like black leggings and this kind of like lightweight sweater top just so that if it's kind of hot, I won't be hot hot. And then if it's kind of cool, I won't be cold cold. And then my bra's here. So I think I'm gonna do that or I'll wear these shoes that I'm wearing, my little Ugg diskette shoes. I haven't decided, but I'll probably end up doing that. I feel like having two sandals are just easier to travel with. And then, like I was saying for the bag, I just went with my Neverfull. So I'm still deciding on the iPad, but then I have my charger case. So all my chargers and everything are here. I have my book, which I'm going to be reading The Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. No, I did not finish my last book by Lisa Jewell. It's the, um, oh, I forgot the title of it, but I'm like one third done. I just don't know what it is. I've been start stopping a lot of books lately. It's such a bad habit for me, but... I just gotta go with it. So I'm gonna start this book and hopefully it catches my attention and keeps me so I can finish the book. And then I have my GM Cosmetics pouch. Like I said, this one just goes in my tote bag, just kind of more easily accessible for me. And then here I have my eyeglasses case, which I have just a black pair of Way sunglasses. And then on the other side, I'll have my regular prescription glasses. But let me show you guys. No jinx once again. But look at these ones. I've had these for a few years. They're prescription and blue light, and you can see where they're all scratched up. But this little nose piece came off a while ago, and I was able to glue it on, but the other day at Whole Foods, it came off, and I just couldn't find it. So I was like, you just need to order new glasses, G. Like, you just need to order new glasses. So I got the same exact pair. The same exact pair. They come in, like, all black, but I was like, no, I kind of like the gold detailing around the lower part even though I tend to wear silver now I just feel like it gives my face a little bit more character so I have the exact same pair blue light prescription coming in and they said they're gonna be here today so I'm really excited because I would love to have my fresh new glasses so I can bring them with me and just have them because these are you know I've been between these ones even though they're a little broken and then my old old glasses which they're prescription but they're not blue light so I try not to use those ones too much while I'm waiting for my new ones to come in because these ones being blue light have just helped me so much I used to get headaches all the time when I didn't have blue light glasses and then of course if I don't have prescription glasses on I have a headache anyway because I need prescriptions <laughs> but yeah so I should have that coming in today and then I also have two elf brow gels because the one I have I love this the brow lift I freaking love this it's how I do my eyebrows dang near every day or actually every day it's just clear and it just slicks your brows down but I don't have the thickest or longest you know like full eyebrows but I feel like this helps I have two of these coming today I just ordered them online and they're gonna get here in a little bit I think they're actually like on the way for just delivery because I wanted to have a chill day at home I want to make sure I can clean and do all the before I leave prep stuff so I have two of these coming I'm gonna pack one with me and just keep one at home for when I run out but yeah that's pretty much it I'm just waiting on that everything else it's kind of just like last minute stuff the cats are always situated um, I'm just gonna make sure their litter box is clean clean today I cleaned it yesterday but I'm gonna clean it again today and then 
that's pretty much it. I cleaned yesterday. So today is just kind of like last minute laundry stuff. I want to put away everything. I want to wash my sheets so that I can come home to fresh everything. I love cleaning. Well, not really love it, but I, it's, I think it's super important to clean before you travel so that when you get home, you know, it's peaceful. You can just come back, unpack, and go back to a routine or whatever you want without having to be like, crap, no, I have to re-clean everything or clean everything. I got them. I was going to just have one in my makeup bag and then use the other as a backup, but I think what I'm going to do is put one into my Trousse 23, my makeup bag, and then put the other one into my GM Cosmetics pouch, just the one that's always in like my purse or something when I'm on the go. Just in case I want to like tame my brows and I don't have my full makeup bag with me, I can just, and I have a little like brow brush for, I have the one that actually not comes with, but belongs with the brow lift, the, like the elf one that's a spatula on one side and then the, what do you call it, spoolie on the other side. And then I have this one. Let's see, where did I put it? Oh, right here. Yes, I have this too. This one's like a tinier one, which is actually perfect. It's not a spoolie on the other side. It's just like a brow brush because half the time I don't need the spatula. I just need the spoolie side. So I think I'll put one inside of my GM Cosmetics pouch like that. And then this one will go in my trousse with the actual brow lift brush. Okay guys, I am out of the shower. It's almost six, it's 5.41 and I'm already starting to wind down for the night. I have all the blinds closed and I'm basically doing like the closing shift that I would usually do at like 10, 11 p.m. to go to bed for the night. I'm doing it right now because I have to be up or I would like to be up latest 1 a.m. just so I have time to do any last minute things, put any last minute things away, freshen up. I'm gonna do my makeup honestly. I need to do my face skincare, that's why I look dry, but I think I want to do my makeup and just kind of look fresh because I'm going to actually get to Tennessee about 11.30 a.m., but my first flight takes off at about 5.30. Yeah, 5.30, so it'll be kind of a long morning of travel, but I'll actually get to my destination when the sun's out, people are out, like it's daytime, there's still time to do stuff, so I want to kind of look just up. But yeah, let's do my skincare really quickly. You guys know I don't have an intense skincare routine. It's just very simple. But I got my new glasses in and they're actually right here. I think I mentioned to y'all they're the same exact glasses as I had just my prescription blue light from iBuy. They're like black with a gold frame or rim around the bottom. I just rebought the same exact style because I feel like it looked good on me. Even though I don't really wear much gold now, I wear mostly silver. I still feel like that little gold detailing at the bottom of my glasses just look really good. So I got it in the same exact style. And I'll actually link it down below because they have them. You can add your prescription and get them prescription or you can just buy them with a clear lens. So in case you don't need a prescription, you just want cool glasses to wear around the house or wear out and about, you can get them. And then of course you can get them blue light too even without a prescription, which is really nice. I have both prescription and blue light because I can't see and I'm on my computer and phone. You guys know so much between marketing and what I do for a living and YouTube and just everything, I'm always on my phone. So I needed that blue light and thankfully it's done me well because I used to get bad headaches when I was wearing my old prescription glasses, not because the prescription was off, but because they weren't blue light. So my eyes were Definitely affected from staring at the screen all the time with no type of protection, but Yeah, my lips are super chapped, I'm sure and I'm sure I have something on my face That's the one thing about moisturizing everything just kind of like comes and swarms on your face, but yeah, so I was thinking Earlier I wanted to go to the gym because I was like, oh, let me get a workout in before I go because I won't be working out this week No, honey, I am still sore from this week or last week and weekend of workouts like between the two i want to say intense leg and glute workouts even yoga the slow flow wasn't intense like high intensity but there were some poses that you know you're holding for a bit and they hurt so i could not get a workout in today i could barely honestly when i had to get up from bed in the middle of the night to use the restroom i could barely get up i had to like roll because I just could not like my legs just could not just get up so I had to like 
roll onto my side and kind of like kick <laughs> and then slide my legs off first. I swear, when I got in the hallway, the cats were looking at me like, why are you wobbling? It was, but no regrets because I just know, I just know my lower body's looking good. <laughs> I did get my BCAs yesterday from, they're the Extend. I'll link them down below to the Extend brand. I got strawberry kiwi. I had, I think about 12 ounces of it, like 12 ounces of water with a scoop. And then today I made some, I haven't finished it because it takes me a while to drink things like that. So I've just been sipping on it, but I know it'll help with muscle recovery. So I'm trying to make sure I engage in that, but yeah, honestly, I'm all packed up. Everything is clean. The only thing I have to do is throw my sheets and blankets into the dryer. I know I did them late in the day. I don't know why it should have been the first load of laundry that I did, but I just, the day got away from me and I really want clean sheets. So that is going to be one of those things that I'll probably end up like staying awake for as they're in the dryer. So yeah, if they're not done by eight, we're just gonna have to, I'll sleep on the couch because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not staying up super late. I don't want to be exhausted and I don't want to sleep on the flight because I know me like I I say that I'm going to sleep on the flight and I never really do comfortably and then I just end up cranky. So I'm just not going to I'm not going to do that to myself this time around. So yeah, that's the last thing I have to do and then run my dishwasher. But my dishwasher I can just run um, at any time. I just want to eat dinner and then put the dishes that I use into the dishwasher and then run it so everything's kind of clean. But yeah, I have the plant situated, the cats are situated, I'm situated. So yeah, I think it's just, it's been a while since I've gone anywhere. So I think that's why I'm like, hold on, what do I need to do? Because there was a lot of going through my toiletry bags and making sure everything was still full. Like I still had everything that I needed to travel. So I didn't, you know, I didn't want to assume everything was good and then get to where I'm going. And I'm like, I don't have any deodorant. And then I have to go, you know, scramble to get some. <laughs> but anyway. I think it should be a nice week. Honestly, I'm just going to take this week. I'm still going to be working, so I have my laptop with me. I believe I'm still bringing my iPad. I'm still 50-50 on it. It's packed just in case, but I'm definitely bringing my laptop. I'll still be working, but what I'm going to do is go through everything that I need to do for Tuesday, tonight, and then everything I need to do for Friday, Saturday during the week, just so that those two days, since they're kind of like travel days, my... Friday is like an evening travel, so I'll end up getting back here to Texas at like one in the morning. Don't ask me why I chose these. Like I, I did this to myself. But so I'll try to actually schedule out some things that need to go up on Tuesday and Friday, Saturday, just so the, those two days I don't have to constantly be checking because there's gonna be a time change difference from me and a few of my clients now. Some of my clients, we already have a time change difference, but now there's another one and I don't have it automatically memorized like I normally do. So yeah, anyway, just working in different time zones and traveling in different time zones. But welcome to my life. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the evening. That's exciting, honestly, probably nothing. <laughs> so if this is it, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know if this is going to be a full vlog because I'm sure it's really short. It's not my usual like 40 plus minutes. It's probably going to be like 15 minutes, which I know, I know people don't really like short vlogs, which is so funny because back in the day, a short vlog was like five minutes and a long vlog was just, like 10 minutes. Nowadays, long vlogs are like an hour and short vlogs are like 20 minutes. That's so crazy how times have changed. But yeah, if I don't talk to you guys again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hanging out with me today. I know it was a short vlog, but you guys know usually I'm vlogging a cumulative amount of days all in one, but it's just busy. Today's been busy and I haven't really done anything exciting worth writing home about. But let me show you my glasses before I say bye. They look exactly like my other glasses. They just have no scratches on them. They're a little dirty already, but they have no scratches on them and you can probably see the little glare of the blue light. You probably can, because I can. Yeah. So, they're prescription and blue light, and I'm really happy about it. It's nice to have a new, fresh pair of glasses, again, with no scratches. Because, listen, my other ones, if y'all, I mean, my other ones are right here. That's so funny. If you could see the scratches on my old ones, you would wonder how I was able to see, period. But, they're, like, naturally matte. These are the new ones. They're naturally matte, 
these ones are like glossy just from you know having them for so long but there's so many scratches on here <laughs> the blue light part's probably like all scratched up but yeah so very happy about my new glasses i'll link like i said where i got them down below in case you guys want to check out other glasses because i when i had my prescription i didn't want to go to like the popular brands you see in like the stores or the strip malls because they're just super expensive for glasses these ones weren't that bad and they always have like a coupon code going i got a coupon code on these i think they were like 30 something 30 or 50 and then when you add a prescription then you add a blue light so it adds up i think they ended up being like 79 75 but I got them for like 52 after everything which is really good so that's the glasses like the frames the lenses that are prescription and the blue light so always check for coupon codes I love a good coupon code I don't have one personally because this isn't sponsored it's just if I can help y'all save money I want to do that but yeah I'm excited to go and I'm also excited to come home you guys know I'm a homebody I love being at home with my cats um when I get back I will definitely do a maybe like a reset Coming home to a clean place will help. So I'll come home and we'll probably go get groceries, get back into a workout routine, maybe make a new workout routine, figure it out. But yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.